The heart of your teams. The heart of Wisconsin. Valley Sports Wisconsin. The heart of the fan. Sports Wisconsin is presented by Potawatomi Hotel and Casino. It's taken until January to meet the Divi Central Division rivals, the Indiana Pacers, for the first time. The first of four meetings in the regular season, the Pacers with a above 500 record coming into today. Giannis was listed as probable earlier in the day. He went through his usual warm-up in the pregame. He now is listed as out, resting him in that left knee. The folks in Milwaukee deciding that that is best for him here today. Welcome to Bucks Basketball, everyone, with the five-time All-Star Marcus Johnson. I'm Lisa Byington. Zora Stevenson is with us on the sideline, and happy MLK Day as well. Just one of nine games that the NBA is having here today to honor the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Well, Marcus, without Giannis here today, we have seen this again in, in the month of January in particular. And really in this month, offensively, we've seen the three-point attempts go up, points in the paint go down, and, and that's kind of been the rhythm in non-Giannis games, if you will. Yeah, and, and it makes sense because Giannis is the second leading producer of points in the paint behind Zion Williamson down in New Orleans. But the Bucks, you look at the numbers for the month of January, 4-1 and one record when Giannis plays, so that, that's good. To me, the field goal attempts in terms of three-point attempts, 47 three-point attempts per game is a little too high. You want to get more balance. You see the effective field goal percentage of points in the paint in the bottom part of the league in those areas. But without Giannis, it's to be expected. Now, the Bucks shot, what, 49 three-point attempts against Miami, knocked down a, a healthy amount of those. So it looks like that's the formula. Without Giannis, you got to try and knock down threes. And the shots they were getting, the actions they were using to get those shots, they were good shots, just to knock them down. Hopefully tonight it's a different story. We saw a lot of wide-open yep. attempts. So the opponent at hand, the Indiana Pacers, there's no Tyrese Halliburton, the Wisconsin native, is scratched here for today. But what they do have is a very young, fast-paced basketball team this year. Got a lot of good, young talent on his basketball team. Buddy Hill, an outstanding three-point shooter, but they've got guys like Benedict Mavin who gets out in transition. They do a great job of getting him downhill. He's a great finisher, second leading scorer in terms of rookies in the league. Andrew Nebhar, just a terrific point guard, good size, about 6'4", 185, 190. Does a nice job attacking the basket, but this team, they're number one in fast break points. They do a great job in transition, both off steals and live ball rebounds for the Bucks. Transition defense is so important, and we know that's been an issue at times with this basketball team. Yeah, so they'll be tested. A, a youthful team that is guided by a veteran head coach and Rick Carlisle in the matchup here this afternoon. On Martin Luther King Jr. Day, we honor the life and legacy of the civil rights leader. We look at how Drew Holiday continues to make an impact in the community. Sora Stevenson has that story next. Remembering Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., in 1963, Bill Russell joined Dr. King and 250,000 others for the March on Washington. As we remember the life and legacy of Dr. King, we take a look at the MLK statue, a life-size statue unveiled in 2013 on King Boulevard in the city. This is one of nine games across the league. It's become an important tradition by the NBA to honor the legacy and what Dr. King stood for. See the players, the lineups just about to be introduced and Bobby Portis with some words to the crowd on this very special day. How are you guys doing today on this blessed Monday? Nah, 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 I say how you guys doing today on this blessed Monday? What the energy at? Martin Luther King stood for something, you know? All the things he stood for today is still going on. You know, one of the highest human acts is to inspire. I think he inspired the entire nation to be better, and he inspired everybody to have equality for everybody. On behalf of myself, my teammates, and the entire Bucks organization, we want to celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King on his day. Go Bucks! Let's get a win today. Well said by Bobby. 358 games have been played in the NBA on MLK Day, and 
Marcus, you and I were talking. It's something that started back in 1986, by the league. Well, and what a, what a gesture. And let's, you know, put it in perspective. Dr. Martin Luther King, during the 50s and 60s, when he was trying to advance the cause of civil rights, he was a man that was beat up. He was jailed constantly. He was stabbed. He was spat upon. He was reviled and ultimately gave the ultimate sacrifice his life. And just think about that in terms of what this gentleman went through to advance the cause and the betterment in terms of treatment of people, not only just black people, but all colors, all hues, in terms of respect, content of uh, your character as opposed to the color of your skin. And just had to say that, Lisa, I mean, when you think about what he actually went through, we, we kind of lose sight of that sacrifice and that struggle that Martin Luther King Jr. was involved in. The ultimate sacrifice for what's right and what's just. And that is something to remember not only today, but the rest of the day. As you look at the Mega Bucks starting lineup here for both of these teams, we have mentioned no Giannis, no Serge, no Joe, no Chris.